So my clothes all dried last night and uh, this thick coat which was totally drenched, wet through, it's dry, gloves dry, very dry, handkerchief dry. Uh, put the washing line away and um, got a couple of little jobs to do. Uh, this is um, the door seal down here. I don't know if you can see right in the corner there. Probably can't. But right in the corner is a tiny little hole. And uh, yesterday, when I was right at the front of the lock, all the water was coming in, it was just pouring in through the lock, uh, which does happen. So. Especially, um, I'm not really too worried about getting wet from the lock, but what did happen is it went down here and went in this little hole. And when I came in um, for my tea, and uh, it wasn't uh, wasn't a problem, but obviously the most of it's fine. But there's obviously I've discovered that if you get water on quite a lot of water on the front of it which might happen sometime in the future if we're going to take it onto rougher kind of surfaces um, such as tidal rivers you know you might get a, a wave over the front so that needs to be sealed up for the future so that's a little job for the day um, what else have we got to do not a lot see I'm a bit of a fan of that porridge in the morning it's uh, something I yeah I have to have porridge in the morning, it's just, just normal for me. And um, unfortunately at the moment we've got no um, electric. But what we do have is an inverter. And an inverter will convert battery and electric and turn it into um, 240. Now I've just read the instructions on my, on this inversion and it reckons it can max out at 4,360 volts which is quite a lot really and it's probably worth trying with the microwave if it reckons it can do that much. I'm going to try and blast my porridge because that's what I like so that's what I'm going to do and uh, we're going to see what happens. I guess it'll either work or not. I don't think it's anything's going to blow anything. So. It will either work or not work. There we go. And full power. Uh, two minutes. This truck part doesn't. No. So that's what happens. It tries to fire up. I guess it's it's um maybe it's turned the inverter off. It's overloaded the inverter and it's turned itself off probably. But we'll go and check that in a minute. Let's go and have a look now, actually. Just going to smell the burning. Um, yeah, it's turned its light red. See, it's got a little little light in there. And it's turned red, so we'll turn it off for a second. It obviously doesn't like that very much. It might work with the engine on. It probably will work with the engine on. It wasn't far off working then. So we might try that. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to do. We'll see. So no, no post this morning. So I've done all my chores for today, just to just to make sure that I'm ready to sail and stuff, you know. And I think I put this uh, phone. It absolutely nearly broke it yesterday. So I've got this cover and. Um, which is which works so it won't get wet today i'm just going to put it in there you can see it, it works quite well so um i'll be using that and um forecast as usual is rain as you'd expect and uh it's coming up to quarter past nine or quarter to nine and uh, i'll be getting underway right this second so uh, off we go.